bringing the people behind our food to life. Whenever I entertain at home in the wintertime here in Portland, I like to uh, make Irish coffees for my friends. So I'm just going to show you a few easy steps so you can make these at home. Well, the first thing you want to do is use a nice coffee. In Portland, we're lucky to have local roasters. I'm using Water Avenue for this. And uh, I also prefer French press and then grinding it fresh before you make the drinks. While the grinder is working, I'm going to start whipping my whipped cream. So the important thing with the whipped cream um, is that you're going to be pouring it on top of the drink. So you don't want it to stand up stiff like you would for pastries. Uh, I, I just call this bar whipped cream, so it's just slightly different than that. Um, so I have the fresh ground coffee. I'm going to use a nice French press. And then we're going to reach to our hot coffee. Um, it's really important when you're making an Irish coffee at home to do what I call flashing the glass. We put our hot water in the vessel that the drink's going to be served in to take away any chill from it. So this takes about three minutes. And while that's going, I'm going to continue to start whipping my, my whipped cream. This is just a heavy whipping cream. I'm just trying to get it to thicken. There's no sugar added. And it's a little bit different than what you'd use in a kitchen when you would whip cream. I want it to pour, and you'll see how that is when I, when I pour it onto the, the drink. Uh, another main ingredient to an Irish coffee is uh, a, a simple syrup. I'm using a brown sugar a simple syrup and it's two parts of brown sugar and then one part of water. Uh, and then I'll just stir that together. Now the water is not hot on this. We're just going to integrate the sugar and the water together. You don't want to cook the sugar. So I'll just let that dissolve together. It's a two to one kind of rich brown sugar syrup. Just want to stir it to let everything dissolve together. And then to serve, I'll put it in a nice little vessel. Makes it easy to pour and easy to measure. On the whipped cream, you can see it's starting to thicken to the touch. Once it looks like it's thickening and it's going to pour nicely. I'll also put that in a nice vessel for serving. Okay, well, so what I have here is a brown sugar simple syrup. That's two parts brown sugar, one part water, and then a heavy whipping cream that I hand whipped for the guests. I flashed the glass. I'll just go ahead and and dump the hot water. So these are nice and hot to the touch. The thing about this is you never want to put a hot drink into a cold glass. An Irish coffee. It's a very simple drink. Two parts of Irish whiskey. In this case, we're going to just measure two ounces. So two ounces of Irish whiskey right in that hot glass. Then we'll take and measure one part of the brown sugar. It's a rich brown sugar syrup. So in this case, one ounce. This adds a nice richness to the drink. Big, bold depth and flavor. French press should be just about ready now, about, about three minutes in. Just want to plunge it down in there nice, and then we'll just top it, leaving plenty of room for the whipped cream. Now, the thing about Irish coffee is you want to drink it through the whipped cream. Really make it delicious. The whipped cream. Just going to float right on top. The Irish coffee was made in Dublin, Ireland, and in about the 1950s it was brought to the Buena Vista Cafe in San Francisco. Then we just garnish it with three coffee beans. And there you have an Irish coffee. And it's just a great winter warmer. Enjoy your holidays. And cheers.